clear out. So if you have any evening plans, you don't need the umbrella. Cold front working its way through, and that's creating a drying trend across the Brazos Valley. So that's the good news. You don't need the umbrella if you have any evening plans. And to give you an idea of how potent this cold front is, there's actually some snow in parts of Texas up in the Panhandle. Amarillo dealing with some snow at this hour, and that's extending uh, east into parts of Oklahoma along the I-40 corridor, making it all the way into Oklahoma City. So if you have any travel plans along I-35 or on I-40, just make sure that you plan accordingly with the snow that continues to fall. That'll continue to fall throughout the overnight hours, and our temperature is going to continue to fall throughout the overnight hours, sitting at 55 degrees in Bryan College Station, 50 in Marlin, 52 in Waco. So those temperatures continuing to fall behind this cold front, and we're all going to fall into the low 30s as we move into Thursday morning. So a freeze likely for all the low-lying rural areas. We should be just above freezing in Bryan College Station, but most areas going to dip down to around 32 degrees and with the winds out there going to make it feel a little bit uncomfortable. We're going to be in the upper 20s for those feels like temperatures tomorrow. So you want to make sure that you yeah, bundle up out there. Western parts of the state going to see wind chills in the single digits and teens. So old man winter saying, hey, it's December and I'm going to make it feel like that. And that's evident with the wind chill temperatures that we're going to experience uh, over the next couple of mornings as those temperatures continue to fall toward freezing over the next several days. So make sure that you're protecting the pets and you want to protect the uh, plants as well as the pipes out there with freezing temperatures likely over the next several days for a large part of the Brazos Valley. We're going to see a high pressure build in and that's going to clear out our skies here. We're already seeing a downward trend in the rain chances and we'll start to see the clearing skies as we move into the overnight hours and that'll continue into tomorrow afternoon. I can't rule out a couple clouds for the northern zone, but most areas going to see the sunny skies with that high pressure controlling our weather and no rain chances over the next couple of days as this high pressure just continues to dance across western parts the state making it pretty nice out there a little bit on the cool side but hey we're going to see the sunny sky so that'll make it feel <clears throat> A little more comfortable as we head throughout the week. Now, the system that uh, brought the cold front into the Brazos Valley, that's going to work its way off toward the north and the east, and that's going to put us in a northwesterly flow loft. So it's going to be nice out there. We're going to see a lot of drying conditions, so we're going to see sunny skies to end the week. But with the northwesterly flow, you know, it's going to keep it on the cool side. Temperatures are going to be in the 50s for Thursday as well as Friday. However, a little piece of the system that retrograded into the southwest, that's actually going to be something we keep an eye on as we move into latter parts of the week especially into the weekend. The system is eventually going to work its way into western parts of Texas, and there should be just enough lift to create an uptick in the cloud cover for Saturday and Sunday. Now, we're going to keep a close eye on this right now. I have no rain chances in the forecast. I think the system will start to weaken as it moves over the state, and with that northwesterly flow aloft, we don't have enough moisture for any rain, but these can be pesky, so we'll keep an eye on it. It'll quickly move across the state late Saturday into Sunday, and then it'll move on to the north in the east into early next week. 10 day forecast shows temperatures below average over the next few days. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s. So make sure that you're staying warm out there. And again, protect the pups, the, the plants and the pipes, all that good stuff with these freezing temperatures we're expecting over the next few mornings. Temperatures do warm up as we head toward the end of next week. Stay tuned. More KAGs after the break.